Welcome to Gohito's channel. Today we got ourselves some interesting stuff to go over. This specifically, but I did have an interesting order come in where it was a second edition lot on eBay where it came with a second edition spell book, second edition booster box, and four packs uh, for the blisters of second edition. Interesting, and I noticed this on the ad after the fact, though, is that one of them is actually a first edition. So we got, and you can actually tell the difference in the way the uh, pack is not crimped like in the other three. It's got the uh, little pull slit tab thing. But, all things considered, that was, uh, that was a nice little surprise when I... Uh, Got this package in was that there was actually a CN1, but it was actually it was it wasn't an accident. Like it was actually uh, pictured on the ad, so that was pretty neat. Didn't notice it until I got here though. But then we got another CN2 boost box. We got quite a few of those. We're gonna make a couple of master sets from CN2 during our openings. This is interesting. The Fresno Nightcrawlers are a PSA 8, and they're the 8 of Diamonds in that, uh, what do they call that? The MetaZoo Kickstarter Cryptid Nation deck. You guys know me and, uh, me and my Fresno Nightcrawlers, right? So I thought that was kind of neat. Alright, so before we move on to this, I need to throw a couple of thanks out there. One is to Speed Robo Games, who reached out to me to ask about making a, uh, well, he said, his words were pretty much saying do whatever you want with the things. I just uh, was curious if you were interested. And the reason why he got reached out to me was through Escaped Alien. Um... So I want to give a lot of thanks to Escaped Alien for pointing Speed Robo Games my way. I thought that was really cool. Um, he was looking for, I guess, decent decent people kind of, uh, to, and smaller people to make videos on some of his card games. So I thought it was very interesting. Uh, he, there's no expectation of super, you know, at, like say this do that any of that stuff do with as you please and it's supposed to be um, a pretty much streamer kit for two different games i did a little bit of research i didn't want to dig too far into it so i'm drawing a blank one system gate and the other one necro necro monsters necro monsters i think it's necro monsters um I'll see when I open this and get a little further into it. I did not want to do too much research because I wanted to actually go through it and see what was in there. Um, and, I, you know, have that initial view. Uh, a lot of times when you when you have, like, new, say, Pokemon product or back when Metazoo was actually producing new product, people go online and look at all the cards and they're not surprised when they open the packs. So I wanted to see what was... I have no idea what's in here. And I thought it would be interesting to do kind of a blind opening and then we'll do another video, probably one on each game on uh once i look and see how like the game's played and stuff like that so we're gonna open this up and i'm not gonna post this video until uh escape the alien post his because i want him to get kind of get his first thoughts and opinions out especially since him and speed robo games are buddies and then they Pointed, uh, blah, blah, escaped alien pointed them out my way, so I thought that was really, just really neat of uh, escaped alien. And he does all of his Electrals videos and such, especially since Metazoo's died. He's been trying to get that golden ticket, bronze ticket, uh, silver ticket. He's trying to get wilderness tickets, so while he's doing that and making Electrals, he's checking out into this new card game. So I think it's going to be interesting to kind of do a basic uh, overview of whatever is in here so let's get into it let's see. Let's 
the system gate. Right now the system gate uh, packs remind me of uh, seed packs. So. I don't know what that is. We'll set that off to the side. We'll start with the ne Necro Monsters. Which one thing that's already kind of nice is you can tell the difference just by the uh, the color schemes and the arts styles. All right, so let's see what this is first, real quick. Okay, that's Systems Gate. Leave that off to the side for now since we're going to go over the Necromancers. Man Necromancers. Let's see Team Spooky backup plan. I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Rawr. Looks like it's going to eat you. Alright, so. Let's see, Necromancers, a customizable card game for two to four players. Three modes of play and a hundred plus unique cards. Swap between stacks to protect fragile creations from harm. Protect your life points at all costs. Be sure to check out Necromancers on Kickstarter for more gruesome ghouls. Brought to you by Speed Robo Games. Let's see. I don't want to put the comic information out there. <laughs> you gotta get it to read it, right? Nope. Oh, that looks like that might be an interesting card to look at. Let's see. Turn order. Let's help with this. All right, we'll we'll start with the turn order. Draw one card from the morgue, monster deck, or graveyard pile. Trade cards optional. Play up to three cards or draw one more card. Swap active and inactive slabs. Optional and attack. Ends turn. Making monsters. Incomplete. Only two types. Full stack. All three types. Battle ready. Monster. Requires full stack to play. Monster requirements. See, discard. In order to play this monster, put the listed card types into the graveyard. So right now, this is like when the first time I read MetaZoo, when they had their spell book and their uh, all their fancy terminology for everything. So right now I'm just kind of reading these out here. Let's see anywhere in order to play this monster, the listed cards must be present, but only somewhere in the stack. Top two, in order to play this monster, the listed types must be in the top two cards of the stack. Top one, in order to play this monster. The listed types must be in the very top of the stack. Or, if there is more than one way to meet this requirement for playing this master card. Meat cards give your master more health. More health means your master can defend you from more powerful attacks. Okay. Bone cards gives your master more attack. Can attack more attack means your master can pack a stronger punch. Spirit card uh, cause changes to your master, your turn, or even your opponent's. And the master cards are what to add to a full stack in order to boost its powers, health, or attack. Alright. So we're going to just kind of go through <laughs> this stack of cards. I think the rubber band came loose on there. Now keep in mind, this is in Kickstarter, so these are probably... Uh, They're early, so let's see. I'm assuming this is the back of the card. Okay, so that's the back of the card. So that looks like those are bone cards, maybe. Let's see. Horror Hound, so that's the... Okay, so we saw over here, it had like a head for the monster card. So 
that looks like a manster, right? So we're gonna so let's see if that's the manster. Put them face down. These look like bone cards. They look like maybe oh okay. Oh maybe not. So those are bone cards. Which give you more attack. Wait a second. That's a monster. Oh, let's let's try and separate these by the backs. Maybe that's where I should have started. I at least see two different backs so far. Now this is intentionally a blind opening, that way we can, we're starting from scratch basically. Oh, maybe it's the framing of the card. Bear with me for a moment here. We're still trying to figure this out. Okay, so bone cards. These are like character cards for your life points. So interesting, okay. Now I'm seeing different color borders here which seem to correspond with perhaps these. I'm gonna have to do a little more digging into it to figure out what's what. But anyway, so I don't want to go through all of the cards in, uh, in this video. I want to kind of just run through them and look at the uh, look at the art and everything. So we got the horror hound, which looks like a kind of a scary hound. Eyesore kind of gives me some. Demi Devimon from Digimon Vibes. That's probably the creepiest gingerbread man I've ever seen. <laughs> Mortis. Polter Heist. Swap any Morg card on the table with any card from the same type from your hand. Ah, okay, so Spirit. Keep in mind, we're going through this, alright? So it looks like Spirit. They have the blue spirit symbol in the bottom corner. The, oh, is this a combo card? It's, might be. I don't know. Nope, I guess this is the same way it has uh, two different colors on it, but spirit and meat. Trade with your opponent. You choose what card they trade. Cannot be played during setup. Thomas. Traumas bone. <laughs> okay, so it's a trombone skeleton guy. Haunt. Easter Island head looking guy. Red skeleton. He uh, looks like a red skeleton. Captain Rattles. Don't you dare underestimate me. Right. I don't, like I said, I want to kind of almost deer. That's pretty neat. I like that one. So, uh, silhouette. Well, hand puppet. Okay. I like that one. That, that stands out. Highly manageable. Nostradamus. Phineas. Shade. Like I said, we're going to go through this a little further down the road. But for, uh, The art style gives me kind of uh, like a Nightmare Before Christmas meets hieroglyphics vibe on some of them that's cute little inverted puppy road rash 
it's interesting that there's uh there's cards with two different color borders which i'm assuming like it's like here it looks like it's where's this card bone card and spirit card I just, that's an assumption we'll have to find out uh, moving forward once you do a little research to the actual gameplay right now i just kind of want to do this blind opening seeing what the cards look like and no, I, this is interesting because these ones have these ones have different backs. So I'm assuming this is going to be a separate deck in gameplay. But the, again, total assumption here: Chaz two, Scavenge two from the graveyard, Chaz Ghoul, Scavenge one from the graveyard. That's that's interesting. Q two, Scavenge two from the grave. Okay. One from the graveyard. Dark Zone Kids. That's not horrifying at all. Drawn to get a spirit card or six cards. Wonder if that means in your hand or just six up to six draws. Gun skeleton. Scavenge one from the graveyard. Brittle sister. Creepy. All right. Specter of War. Pegasus from uh, Hercules. A little bit. Q cubed. <laughs> Scavenge three cards from the graveyard. Subrecto. Steal one card from me. Okay. Non threatening spider. <laughs> Some. My sister is deathly afraid to die of long legs, but she'll hold tarantulas. Non threatening spider. <laughs> Buddy Hollow. Ichibod. Oh, I like that. Ichibod Crane. That in its own is a creepy card. I'm gonna set that to the side. I like that one. Mm hmm. Unpronounceable. Alright. Jarvis. Spectre of Death. I'm digging those horse looking cards. Nope. Nope. Keep out. Moby Crypt. <laughs> I like some of the wordplay on these uh, card names. And then... Necro... Necro Monsters. Interesting. So we're going to have to look into that and get a video where we actually kind of understand the gameplay a little bit. I like to look at that. Let's look at these characters real quick. So I'm assuming these are the four characters you play as. The one-eyed dude. One. Interesting. There's only one character you can see both eyes. Team Gloomy. Derek Burgos. Oh, Team Gloomy. Isabel Nash. Team Spooky. Crispy Reeves. And Jerm Helbertson. Team Spooky. All right. We'll go, like I said, we'll go through this more when we make a specific video on this game. That seems very interesting, though. Alright, let's move into... Uh, let's move into System Gate. I'm going to start by looking at this here. I'm going to move a little bit. Try and quick start rules. All right, we're going to do a quick flip through this. We're going to go through... This is more of an instruction guide, it looks like. And we will... <laughs> it actually looks very similar to a video game um, intro, but then we'll dig into the cards a little bit. Maybe we won't open all of them. It's going to be a long video already, and, but we'll get into a uh, thorough system gate video. Customizable card game. Let's see, start... How to win. Reduce your opponent's life points to zero. Okay. Rest stand. So it looks like it's tapped and uh, brought back. Interesting. Looks good. Alright. So... 
This pack contains five commons and one alternate card. The alternate card can be a rainbow borderless shatter foil, rainbow borderless, or shatter borderless. Speed Rover Games does not take responsibility for future resale value of cards. It's sad that people actually have to put that there because, I mean, we saw that with MetaZoo. We saw the uh, big concern with, um, you know, buying and selling cards for value. Which, I mean, we all do a little bit here and there, but that shouldn't be the primary reason. Now I'm interested. I'm going to hold this on the, the wrapper up to the side because... First off, I like the backs. That's what the um, card sleeves are. I don't know what it is, but it looks neat. So it's a system gate or system gate customizable card game. A little feller in the corner. So let's go and look into it. Tut tut, it looks like rain. I love how the text looks like a video game. You can only cast me if you have returned a doll to your hand this turn. Cost, drop a doll from your hand. Counter, if your gate is asteroid, return an enemy field card. Sounds interesting already. Piglet. Little Winnie the Pooh. I was wondering the the that looks like Winnie the Pooh on the cover, the old school Winnie the Pooh. And we got a piglet card. That's interesting. Unsure and uneasy when I enter the field, gain one life. If your gate is not asteroid, unsure and uneasy only triggers once per turn. Ooh, interesting. Plus ring. Oh, okay. Plus ring if an rincher is required. Winnie the Pooh signs when they kind of phonetically write things. You can only cast me if your gate is asteroid. Seems to be a lot of things about asteroid gate. I don't know what that means yet. Hundred acre wood. Uh, set when I am cast. Put me in the set zone. Use rest me if you do. Return one doll on your... Okay, interesting. I'm not sure I've seen a doll yet. Honey, cost, return a doll from the field to your hand. Gain six life. And that must be a regular, that must, let's see, a rainbow borderless, shatter foil, rainbow borderless, shatterless, I don't know what all that means, so. Owl, customary procedure, when I enter the field, if you have returned a unit to your hand, this turn, and you, if your gate is asteroid, put a uh, dry card and put the top card of your deck into the energy. Customary procedure only triggers once per turn. Let's see, that must be a oh, rainbow. Yeah, it looks like a rainbow. I'm, I'm seeing more actual. Because of the angle. That's actually, uh, oh, that's nice. I'm seeing the red and the green as you guys are seeing the blue and the violet because of the angle. That's actually really nice. I'm going to set those off to the side for. Oh. Bear with me for a second. Got to stretch the old legs real quick. Oh. So, this is interesting. Six card booster pack. That's um, different than a lot of games, but. But I like it. Probably be more interesting for anything, really. Very deep pit. So I wonder, so spell asteroid. One unit asteroid. Winnie the Pooh. That's sort of a bear. When I enter the field, you may pay one energy. If you do, draw a card. 
if your gate is not an asteroid, that sort of bear only triggers once per turn. Uh -oh. Interesting. So, I cannot be summoned during your main phase counter. When your doll is attacked, if I am in your hand, return the attack card to your hand. If you do, summon me. The wrong sort of bees. Ho oh, ho, the wrong sort of bees. Toy box gate. You may use asteroid belt cards. Asteroid belt cards can be used with any gate unless otherwise specified. I'm not going to lie, I'm rather interested in seeing this game here. So this is a very deep pit. Well, that's interesting. Two very deep pits. Toy box gate. Well, that's really interesting. <laughs> the hollow to toy uh, toy box gate. See this next one opened up. So as I'm gonna read open this last pack or this next pack, I noticed that uh it literally says Winnie the Pooh in the front. I was kinda I was kinda confused for a second there. I'm like, well, this is very Winnie the Pooh based, and apparently I'm blind. See the big red letters on there? Winnie the Pooh and the picture of Winnie the Pooh. I was looking at the quick start guide and I was even like I'm confused because this looks like a lot of Winnie the Pooh and there's a bunch of it says Winnie the Pooh right on it. So, there's that. <laughs> I never even thought to look for a second here. We'll look on this one. Alright, so we got Kanga. Oh, okay, so the, that's a doll. Now that I see that it says doll on the bottom. We look, we got other cards. We got Terrain slash gate, story trap, insect, doll, story, terrain, story, doll, story. Okay. Like I said, again, going through a blind opening, so we're kind of learning as we're going through here. Okay, so now we got Kanga, Rabbit, I like the Rabbit card, Piglet, Rabbit, Heffalump, <laughs> and Tut Tut, it looks like rain, which is a story card. Very nice. being very careful to open this on the tape here that way we can put them back now I don't know if this is going to be the uh, the final way these packs are I'm going to say I doubt it but I like it I like the the paper folded instead of how everything's all with all the foil and everything but I have a feeling this is just uh, temporary I mean you know Speed Robo is using this the stickers on there but I kind of like it so we got our very deep pit Ooh, oh help story card Winnie the Pooh owl okay so we got 4,000 power 2,000 defense crit of two one unit asteroid life of four Art by E.H. Shepard, and it's a doll card. Okay. There's another owl. And there's a piglet. These cards are very nice looking. And and I don't want to mess with the hollow one, but they're actually rather uh, thick. They, they feel a little uh, a little more solid than, say, your regular Pokemon cards. Those cards are rather solid too. Alright, so we got two more packs of the system gate to open up here. 
Winnie the Pooh. In case you missed that like I did. Alright, so we got the 100 acre wood terrain card. Toy box gate. Toy box gate. The wrong sort of bees. The wrong sort of bees. A very duplicated pack. And then the wrong sort of bees. Alright, so we got three wrong sort of bees. One hollow. Very nice. And then for our last pack here. Oh no. Our last pack I did not do a very good job cutting on the tape. It's okay though. Alright. Ooh. Trespassers William. Story card. I'm interested to see how to play this one. Trespassers William. Story card. Oh, we got Roo. So we got Kanga and Roo now. Very nice. Stuck. It's interesting. I, I, I did not see any... Like card numbers, see how many is like in the Winnie the Pooh set or anything. You got Plez Ring if and Rensure is required. <laughs> and then for our last one, you got the Hollow Rabbit. Which again, I like that rabbit card. I think it's very nice. It's very interesting. So, let's see if one. Um, Necroma Necromancers. There's no card numbers, so I don't know. I'm just curious on if there's, you know, as I learn a little more about the games, if we're going to find out, um, one, we're going to find out gameplay, but two, I'm curious because there seems to be more about the, uh, you know, it's like a Winnie the Pooh. Uh, system gate but it's like a, how it says asteroid I'm curious on what asteroid is it's got me vested a little bit in trying to figure out more about the game itself right now um, both games look interesting in different ways the Necroman necromancers looks like something that would be fun to do like say you got this is up front like not knowing more about the card game or anything Necromancers looks like something that if you have half an hour to kill with the kids and you want to hit a game, it looks like that's going to be a... It looks like it's going to be a quicker game. Whereas System Gate looks like it's going to be a little bit longer of a game. So you want to have a little more time to play it. I could be completely wrong. I could be completely backwards on that. I have no idea. But that's uh, that's the initial, that's the initial appearance right now. Now there is... One little last set of cards here that are in a top loader, so I want to be careful with it as I pull them out. Ooh. So let's see. So the first one, they both appear to be. Uh, system gate. This one definitely seems to be system gate because it says system gate right on it. And it is a villain card, but notice how it's Neptune. It's a Neptune spell instead of being a, an asteroid, which is what we've seen a lot of. Now I see asteroid, I see Neptune. I'm wondering if the different gates have to do with planets and solar system or whatever. No idea. We're going to find out though. You may only cast this card if you have a villain on your field. Cost, rest a card on your field. Put the top four cards of your deck onto your energy or draw two cards. You may only cast under table dealings once per turn. It's a villain and the art is by Maxwell Sear. And I probably mispronounced that so I do apologize. And then the other card, I actually have to sneak a peek on the back of first. Let's. 
Alright, the other card is System Gate. This one looks interesting to me. Because this is one of those borderless cards. It is Tigger Ronin. So that's a this looks like it's gonna be a rainbow borderless. Seven thousand let's see how we how it's split up power, seven thousand defense, three crit, life four, cost two, and it has a sword thingy and shield. Hanner Hanaru, when I am summoned, return up to one other doll on your field to your hand. Hanaru only triggers once per turn. The art is by Artist Squared. And this is a doll card. So, it looks very interesting. I'm, I'm curious on the Winnie the Pooh and what other things System Gate has outside of the Winnie the Pooh. This is very interesting and I'm very intrigued in the System Gate. Um, I feel like, like I said before, I feel like Necromancers would be something me and the kids would love to learn how to play. The art's funny, the art seems um, like, like friendly scary. You know, kind of like like Nightmare Before Christmas type of uh, scary, cartoony pictures. So it does look very interesting, and I do appreciate the uh, opportunity to get a look into both of these card games from Speed Robo Games. And another thanks to Escape the Alien who was willing to kind of put his name behind me towards Speed Robo Games to get us to have a chance to look into this. Like I said, I'm not going to post this until after Escape the Alien posts his video. Which, Escape the Alien is going to be a lot better, just so you know. But, enjoy and look forward to uh, videos on these two separate games once we do a little research and some gameplay and everything. Because this looks interesting. It looks interesting on, on both the different games. Different facets. As of right now, blindly looking into it, I feel like there is... Um, different desires for gameplay depending on what you're looking into but I feel like both are going to be a lot of fun to learn how to play and to have a more in-depth conversation once we learn how to play the game so with that I'm going to bid you guys adieu hope you guys are having fun keep on collecting and thanks for watching catch you later bye